All right, now to another race that has the attention of the entire country, and that is the Alyssa Slotkin uh, race trying to unseat incumbent Mike Bishop. A ton of money spent on TV and radio ads highlighting just how important this race was when it came to control of the House and whether Democrats would gain control. We do know that's going to happen. It's now a question of the margins, uh, but this has been a race that Democrats believe they can win, even though it is one of those classically, in fact, uh, those who uh, are frustrated with the way districts are drawn in Michigan point to this one as being a Jerry Mandered district, one in favor of the Republicans. And as you can see now, three quarters of the vote is in, and Mike Bishop up by four points, 51 to 47, a uh, pretty slim margin, uh, but starting to stretch it out just a hair here with only a quarter of the vote yet to be counted. Uh, too soon for us to call this one. Let's get to Rod Maloney, who's in Rochester with the Bishop campaign. What's the feeling there, Rod? Well, the feeling here is everybody's staying quiet. There, there have only been a couple of rounds of applause, and that's been for other races and not the Bishop race because they know it's within about four points, which is nail-biter territory. But uh, earlier in the evening, about 9 o'clock, uh, Mike Bishop came down to uh, talk to everybody here and say hello, and uh, he was uh, staying very calm and subdued. He didn't want to jinx anything, uh, but he was in here talking to the faithful and uh, was uh, trying to stay upbeat, as is the rest of the room. But again, there have not been large rounds of applause for this particular race because they know this could come down right to the bitter end. Now, uh, we also are over at Alyssa Slotkin's uh, campaign. She's over at the Deer Lake Athletic Club in Clarkston. And over there, uh, we're told that she has been out walking around and talking to her supporters there as well, uh, essentially saying, hey, it, you know, it's a close race. We'll have to wait until, uh, wait until the, uh, the bitter end here. It looks like perhaps uh, into the wee small hours. So we'll see how this goes. But as it stands right now, there everybody's trying to keep their powder dry, keep quiet, stay calm. So we'll uh, we'll bring you an update if we hear something more from here. So reporting live in Rochester Hills, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Yeah,